Hey guys, Caps from 509K9 here. We're gonna go over the release today. Uh, the release is used across the board on all commands. Um, I think every dog needs to have one because that sets the duration on the command that they are in. So if I call my dogs to me, when I say the release, they should understand that they're able to not leave. If I tell them to sit or I tell them to place like they're currently in right now, they are supposed to stay in that command until I release them. So the reason this is important is because Sometimes people get upset with their dogs when they they may do a command, but then stop doing it And honestly as long as they completed the command and You didn't teach proper release then they didn't do anything wrong and a lot of people get mad at their dog when they When they do that, but we have to teach them properly If we say sit When do you, when are you allowed to stop sitting right? That's the important part of of uh, having a release command. So I'm going to demonstrate exactly how I would teach a release. Um, obviously these guys have theirs. Now you can use whatever word you want. Um, some people use break, some people use free, free dog. It's really up to you. I use the word okay. So you'll see when I tell my dogs that, when if I look at them and tell them that, they're going to feel like they can get off that place for me. Okay. See, they're both free to go. Okay, buddy. Come here. Good. All right. So I'm going to show you how I would teach the command, um, the place, which you'll see in one of my other videos, I don't think I have one out there yet for that, um, is usually the easiest, in my opinion, command on how to teach it, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna, obviously with every dog when I'm teaching them something, I'm gonna have a way to communicate properly, so I'm gonna put a slip lead on Misha. Misha, come. Good. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put this on. Now I'm not gonna be teaching the place command in this video. I'm just gonna put her in a place and I'm gonna show you how I teach the release. Misha, touch. Good. So she's on the box. So you can see even as far as away as I get here, she's not gonna follow me because she understands that she's in that place command right now, right? Um, keep in mind, this is already a trained dog. So if it's a puppy or, or a dog that doesn't know it, they're probably going to want to follow you because you can see as I get this leash tighter, she's already starting to think to come this way. So when I teach a dog, is what I generally do is I use my body to move in the direction I want my dog to follow me while I link the command. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of consistent pressure so they understand I do want you to get off that box. So this is what I'm going to do. It's simple. Okay. There we go. Good. And then I'm going to make sure I pay my dog every single time with praise or, or food or whatever um, to make sure they understand that that release is exactly what I want them to do. So I'm going to do it again. Misha, touch. Good. She's going to sit here all day, right? Okay. Good. All right, guys. So let's fast forward. If I did this a bunch of repetitions, you want to get to the point where I can create that separation and then just use a verbal release. Touch. So now I'm not going to move. Okay. Now she knows she's allowed to get off, right? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you would um, work the thresholds a little bit and make it more difficult for your dog to stay in a command until released. Misha, touch. All right, so I'm going to leave the slip lead on her. She's good to go. I'm going to grab something I know she will want. So I'm grab a ball, right? She's in place. That ball is on the ground, right? So she's waiting for that release to go do what she wants. Okay. Now she's free to go, right? Makes sense. Misha out. Good. Misha touch. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to show you, you can use a couple different commands. Well, every command, right? Um, she should understand. I'm not going to demonstrate anymore like she's a puppy. because She knows what she's doing. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to work both dogs and show you how I can release them and then add in some distractions and show you that like this is a, a level that you should ideally build up to because this is super minimal compared to like uh, any distractions that we'll find outside on walks, things like that. So this is just kind of exercises that it's good to put your dogs through. Ozzy, come. Sit. Misha, come. Good, right? They're both in their own sits. I'm gonna take some bones, some cons. Right now, the whole reason they can stay in this sit is because they, they have a release. If they didn't have a release, they could get up and think that they're not doing anything wrong. And again, this isn't anything special. They just understand that when they're in a command, they have to hold that command until they're released, right? So their eyes are on me this entire time because they're waiting 
for my approval to be released. And you can see, right? The distractions are over there and their eyes are following me because they know I'm the key. I'm the one that lets them get those toys. And this is what we want, guys. We want our dogs to be looking at us for direction, guidance, and obeying our commands. Okay. All right, hope that helped people out. Um, stay tuned for upcoming videos, especially the one that I'm gonna teach how to teach a place in the first place. Um, but yeah, that's how you release. Hopefully it helped out.